Uh, so for you, sin yes. and our need to be liberated and forgiven from sin is a not to be liberated for, uh, for us to be forgiven for us to be forgiven. for us to be forgiven and liberated from sin correct mm -hmm. it is not necessarily only an individual thing absolutely not and it's not necessarily only a moral slash spiritual absolutely thing not. sin can be systemic right Ab it absolutely is and absolutely. as a result the solution also needs to be somewhat systemic absolutely I asked the question earlier, we didn't come to a conclusion, but the question I asked the panel I was with earlier tonight, we was talking about uh, not, not just uh, forgiveness, but repentance. And how do we move America to repentance mm. of all the years of oppression of other people, of certain people? You know, and, and I'm not just talking about black people. Poor white people are being oppressed too, by the way. <laughs> There's been a lot of oppression. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how do we get America to... America is one of the greatest nations that, uh, in the world, but it's also been one of the evilest in history. You know, and we can't just push it aside talking about we want some unity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or reconciliation. You can't have unity or any type of conciliation without accountability. And you sure as heck can't have forgiveness without repentance. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> yeah. came preaching, repent, for the kingdom is at hand. And so the, our job, and I, I, I cry out to, to all of us who, who, who believe in the religion of Jesus, that's Howard Thurman would put it, you know, who, who believe in that, that, that Jesus came to set the captives free. And so I, I, I urge us to get back to the mental mentality of being communal minded and less individualistic because I don't think individualism is very Christian at all uh, or very Christ-like at all no a and you don't even have to y you said it yourself in the first testament individualism is not present it ain't even, I don't right. think it's present in the new testament either you read the book of Ephesians and it's like why did Christ come he came to unify in one body right. these two and make them one correct um, and he was talking to a community of people. A community of, <laughs> exactly. of Jews and Ex Greeks exactly. who hated each other's guts exactly. and needed to recognize that Christ was the reconciler. That's right. 